Hi guys, I thought I'd show you a few things that I bought recently. I just received this lovely Mongolian wall cushion and it's for my bedroom. I've just redecorated my bedroom and it's lovely grey tones and I thought this would add as a lovely centerpiece for my bedroom, for my bed, my big, 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 fluffy, clean white bed. And it is just so lovely. I, I'm a massive fan of Mongolian wool. You have to dry clean it though, but it's such good quality. And there was a sale on John Lewis. Sale on that John Lewis. I think the original price is 40 quid, but I got it for 25 pounds. And uh, you can do click and collect at Waitrose, um, which is really good because my nearest Waitrose is in Greenwich and I love Greenwich. So it kind of pushes me to go out and enjoy my lovely Greenwich Park. And sometimes I treat me and my daughter to a cheeky Nando's or fish and chips at the local pub that's near to Greenwich Park. So I thought I'd show you that. But I bought another cushion which is an ombre grey and I got it from the island and it was so expensive but I had to send it back because it's not the colours that I wanted the white is um can you see it's cream it's like a cream white and I need it to be like a blue white and it's more warm so it looks it makes the rest of the room it makes the cushion look dirty against the rest of the white tones and grey tones in my room but it's such a lovely, I, mean, I don't know if anyone would like this but it's a really deep dark grey and then it goes down it's a lovely ombre idea for a Mongolian wool it's bloody expensive but now I'm sending this back, that didn't work out and I've got loads of candles that I wanted to show you boob alert, I mean I'm mean, like, I just can't help it. They're just there. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you some home fragrance and candles that I bought. This is Wild Things by the brand Burley. Is it Ashley and Burwood? Ashley and Burwood, London. The packaging is sensational. I'm not getting rid of the packaging. <laughs> and this is a reed diffuser, which I've already taken out. I buy my reed diffuser sticks from eBay. So if you want a specific kind of colour reed stick, then I would definitely recommend you just go on eBay or Amazon and you can get lots of different colours to match your decor. But I just thought I'd show you how pretty is this. It's got like leopard print, which is one of my favourite prints, and a beautiful hummingbird. And this is for my living room. And it matches a candle that used to live in my bedroom. I don't know if it can still, can still live here. Yeah. And this is from TK Maxx. I'd recommend go to TK Maxx for your um, candles. They do designer candles and name brand candles and Yankee and village candles there. And that's the liquid. Yeah, I've already poured some in there. And it just comes with so much things I need to sit down and enjoy. But their visuals are really gorgeous. What's this all about? So I think these are all the different designs that they do. Yeah, it's lovely. So I need to take some time and just go through that. Hope you're all well. I know it's been ages. Oh, no, it does come with the. Okay, these are their rediffusers. I must have just wanted to use mine for some reason. I don't know. But it's lovely. Sometimes, you know, I get so excited. Let me just leave that there. It smells really nice. And quite a floral, fresh scent. Right, so, Hall. Village Candle, pure linen. This is a lovely cottony, oh, it smells like fresh laundered sheets. It smells like how a room smells when a, a newborn baby is present. You know, the house is like blitzed clean and um, just very light smelling, very fresh. Everything's clean and fluffy. This is lovely. I don't know which candle I'm going to burn today. I'm just gonna bring them out. 
all. So this was my trip to, oh, it's massive, it's so heavy. I don't know what gram this is. This is 697.41 gram. That's a 24.6 ounce. And this is white pumpkin. And I found this in TK Maxx. It was about a tenner. <sighs> so good. I really feel that these candles are worth it. I normally buy quite a few candles from TK Maxx and they they smell really good. They burn really well. So yeah, white pumpkin. God, it's so heavy. I'm gonna rest that gently. Actually, do you know what? I've got a bit of bubble wrap. I'm gonna lay that on my, because I've got a Venetian dressing table. It's made of glass and I cannot afford for it to break because of the candle. I went to Ikea to get some frames and just some little home accessories and I saw this. I was looking for some kind of like grey kind of candle that would match my room. And this is really lovely, it smells good. It's like a coffee cake. Coffee cake candle. 40 hour burn. Oh, it smells... Mm, that might be the one to burn, it smells really good. And this is lovely. I went to Nonhead Garden Centre and their garden centre just smells exquisite. When you go inside and they've got more of their indoor house plants. And I was like desperate to find out what on earth was that fragrance. And it was the Charles Farris collection, but this was probably my favourite scent. And this is Rubus 3. And there was a sale at John Lewis, which I missed. But I found it on thehut.com or... I think the heart.com and look incredible are the same kind of family. I'm not sure, but um and the only reason why I say that, I think and there's no box to prove it. On the box, when the heart products arrive to my home, I see look incredible on the side of the box. So a big tip is to look for look incredible voucher codes or the hut voucher codes, but the look incredible voucher codes are much easier to find. It smells so good. This is a such a great premium. This is a premium candle. By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. So, you know. Anything that says appointment by the Maj by Her Majesty the Queen is quality. And this is Rubus again. It's a bit more expensive and it's, a, it's in a beautiful jar. Look at that. Kind of a matte it's kind of like a matte ceramic stone oh, it's really intense it's a it's blackberry and bay and it's just very green and comforting and it's extremely aromatic i really like this one but i'm not going to burn this one this is probably christmas time i think now these are really expensive I already have one that's probably about this much, I've got about this much left, so I don't need to um, burn that, but I had to buy it because the original price is like, it's so expensive, it's like £25 on sale, this candle is like £14, so it was worth buying and it's lasted me for a long time, I think I bought it in June and it's now October, so... I burn it when I want, whenever I want and the scent still remains. I just make sure that I keep, put the lid, I just make sure that I remember to put the lid back on the candle jar. Oh, this is, wow. Ooh, this smells like a luxury spa. This is by the brand Rituals and this is uh, the Ritual of Sakura, Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. Sun, it's a natural sunflower wax candle and it, oh, it smells so good. It's really pretty. I'll tap the screen so you can see the colour. Yeah. And the jar, it really matches my room. It's like a white gloss, glass candle jar. Oh, the quality is amazing. And again, I think I got this from look incredible but I got a massive massive discount just using a voucher code I think I got 25% off I would not buy this without discount and I got the body I have the body mist and the the body scrub 
of the same fragrance and the body mist is like a staple fragrance for my home my well not my home my bedroom scent so flourishing hair and body mist is the same scent as that candle oh my goodness maybe i should burn that candle i don't know mm, it smells so good i'd recommend this yeah You'll probably get this video before you get my epic chatty welcome back video um, because this video is shorter. Another TK Maxx candle. But um, I hope everyone's well and I have missed in my videos. Uh, what I explained in my other videos, I renovated my bedroom. I just redecorated it. It took me nearly a month. It took me about three weeks plus to finish it and I'm really happy it's just everything's tidy in its place clean bright fresh and I've just got some new um accessories just to brighten up the look and some arts on the walls and you know I don't have these dirty mucky walls anymore that I had before I had I painted my room with matte paint and that was about maybe seven years ago and it was just long overdue, a little spritz, spritz up and freshen up and sprucing up. It just needed sprucing up and I'm just so glad I got around to doing it. I needed a lot of motivation and trust me, it was difficult. So this is passion tea. I'm showing it to you like several times and without talking to you about it, but that smells really good. Oh, and the colour's really nice. Let me tap, when I tap the screen, yeah, that's better. I'm filming on my iPhone now I have a new camera but I haven't got used to using it yet I haven't had time but it's a professional camera and hopefully I can upgrade my videos for you guys um, I think that's all the updates yeah is that all the updates yes put a bit of deodorant on this is such a good deodorant I don't normally spray under my armpits what I do with deodorants is when I get up in the morning from bed, I lift up the duvets. When I make up the bed, I lift up the duvets and I just spray it under the duvet. And it's lovely. It keeps your bed from smelling fresh and nice. Okay, I better, I better put these candles down here and just choose which one I'm going to burn. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just burn the um, Charles Farris Rubus. But I already have. I do like this one. Do you know what? I'll, I'll burn the IKEA one. It smells so yummy. This is an electric lighter. So you charge it via USB. You hold the power button. The lights come up and you just basically slide to light and it has this. Look at that, it's an electric lighter. It's like a taser. So um Every time I put that lighter on, you might notice that if you have um, pets, your dog or your cat might perk up because that noise is really irritating to them, I think. Yeah, so let's burn this IKEA candle for a bit. So how you all been? I'm gonna just do a little simple makeup look because I am going back out and I just thought I'd have a little quick chat with you whilst I do so. Where my wipes are. Oh. When these wipes are on sale, nab them. Neutrogena, visibly clear, pink breakthrough facial cleansing wipes. Do not waste them. Seal them back. They are fantastic. They get rid of everything. And they also, this is really, really good if you get whiteheads. I get so much whiteheads on my chin area and around my nose. 
and I think these are just fantastic especially if you're coming back and you're tired you come back from work or you come back from a party or something like that or if you have children like my daughter's 14 next week but if you have children that are going through puberty boys or girls and they're being a bit lazy because you know children can get lazy in their teen years especially when they're coming back from school and they're tired or whatever even though the bathroom is two seconds you know walk put this in their bedroom drawer and shout at them have you cleaned your face and if they say no then just say Main, remember to use the white oh and it that flicked right in my eye but be careful and um just say to them have you washed your face and if they say no say so just remember to use the wipes and they can just go into the bedroom drawer their side drawer and just wipe their face because um you know acne is really annoying for young people and for adults so i just really cleanse and I don't throw it away because there's so much moisture in it. There's so much flicks in my eye. <laughs> yeah, so much moisture, but I just leave it. So when I'm doing my makeup, if there's any, you know, residue or things I need to wipe off, then I still have that to help me clean up. So, just cleanse my face. This is fantastic. This is Clinique Moisture Surge Spray. It's, it works the same way as um, Max, Mac, Max Fix Plus. Just re-energizes your face and just gives it a nice bit of moisture to your skin, which helps when you're applying makeup. And I have this really amazing, <sighs> so hard to find, moisturizer. This is by a brand called Mixer. If you can find this, this is fantastic and this is the only um, mixer product that is for the face by the way the other lotions that they sell is for the body you have to really read if you are buying skincare read everything that is my advice to you okay I'm Get the circulation in your face going, and then your makeup will look so much better. Trust me, it will. When you have a, a natural glow under the skin, it shows through. Okay, now this I tried NARS foundation before, and I wasn't impressed. I don't know if they changed the formulation or what, but I discovered it at Duty Free. And it's, uh, it's got sun protection factor and sun protection factor and also it just doesn't crease and you just need a tiny amount. I have two colours and I'm trying to look for the other colour. I don't know where I put it. It must be in my, one of my handbags. But this one is um, Caracas and this is my bronze colour or my holiday colour when I have a tan. Look, I'm going to show you exactly how much I use. That's all. Trust, I know. <laughs> You're going to see how much it spreads. I don't know. Am I looking at it? Am I looking at it? I'm just double checking that it's not on my... Beauty carousel. I don't see it. I think it's there laughing at me. Okay. You can't see me. Oh, oh, I've just reminded myself. This is one of the best primers you can ever, ever use. Laurier Mercier. Laurier Mercier. Laurier Mercier, is that what I said? Laura, sorry. <laughs> Laura Mercier um, foundation primer. I don't know if I've used this yet, have I? I haven't even used it yet. This is brilliant stuff guys I think I've got another primer I think I've got a, a NARS primer 
I need to sort out my dressing table, honestly, because I'm I'm thinking, where on earth are my things? And I don't know where they are. Right, so I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier primer, start on my cheeks, because that's where I get enlarged pores and my nose. I don't really have enlarged pores anywhere else except for my nose and my cheeks. When I'm hot, my cheek pores open up and I've just got some enlarged pores on my nose anyway. And around my laughter lines, wherever you have creases, that's where you should put the primer or wherever you have um, open pores. And then look, remember that tiny little bit of foundation? There, there and there. And just spread. It's a bit dark for me at the moment. I need the other colour and I don't know where I put it. God, this is so nice. It goes on well. And I think it's a semi-matte, a semi-matte finish. Yeah. Let me see if I can find my other um, mask foundation because... I need it. I've got my big tatty makeup bag here. some really fun things. Matte lipstick, brand new. Oh, I need this. It's a good thing I looked. Cotton buds. And I buy black cotton buds. Get them from eBay. I think a shop called Muji sells them as well. Oh, I was looking for this. Melted metallic. Makeup breakup. This is such a good colour. A nice red. Um, it's like a metallic matte red. Oh, hold on a minute. No, this is a metallic, like, pink. And this is the metallic red. Bitch, I'm two-faced. I'm so wearing this today. This is hot. This is so nice. All right. So, and what's that one? Gosh, I'm. I've got high hopes that my foundation is in here. Yeah. But can you see that one? It's nice. Um, it's got a nice tone to it. But I think. Yep, found it. Yay! I found it. Oh, I need to go through this makeup bag at some point. I have my posh makeup bags and I've got my cheap and cheerful, hardcore, ride or die ones that just hold everything. Right, yeah, this one is more my colour now because my tan's kind of faded, but look, can you see? I think it's quite nice. I don't know if that's too much light. Right, anyway, this is um, Cadiz. And someone recommended me to try... Um, the NARS foundations some time ago and I did and it just wasn't sitting well with me and I don't know I don't know if they've changed their formulation I have no no idea it says shake well by the way I didn't shake it but I'm sure it'll be fine once you um mix it so I'm gonna just spread that evenly on this is just like a really simple look. Nothing too heavy. Go right up into that hairline. And just... Sometimes I go over the lips, especially if I'm gonna do a strong color, which I am, I think. <laughs> and done. Like that. Right, see, go back to that face wipe to get off the excess foundation, see? Then I've got a new mascara by NARS, it's a little mini Climax. It's called Climax, it's a little mini mascara, pocket size. 
um, but before I use that, I'm going to use the Touche Eclat. <coughs> it's a limited edition Love Heart one. It's so nice. They should sell this like this all the time. And this is fantastic. I used it for the first time in the video that I'm uploading that hopefully you'll get to see. And it just needs a little bit. I put it on top of my foundation. You just click it to get more product and you really don't need a lot. And what this does is just brightens up the eye area. Put it on anywhere where you have darker um, pigmentation on the face. And I would say that's where my laughter lines are. Too bright, I need to turn that light down. I've got a new light to do video, so I'm not used to using it, and I think it's too bright. I'm gonna just turn it down. Is that better? Oh, that's much better. Maybe if I set over here as well. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start doing videos on Sundays, I'm going to call them Scented Sundays, so it's going to be um, either get ready with me, chats, and um, obviously talking about fragrances, so many fragrances to talk about, yeah, that's really nice, that Touche Clat really just brightens up, look at the foundation, so I just use a little bit of the Caraca Caracas, and um, the Cadiz is the one that I use the most, but you really don't need a lot of foundation at all. And then I'm going to use <clears throat> blush. Blush is really big this season. And, but I don't really want a strong blush look. I'm going to use the, Nata <laughs> I'm going to use the Natasha Denona um, Diamond and Glow. So just for a little bit of highlighting. Natasha Denona. So I just use my fingers and put it on the cheeks. A little bit of pink. I like that pinched cheek look. I love a strong highlight as well. But I normally just kind of do that in the evenings when you know when it's darker and the lighting's more dim. But in the daytime I kind of like a bit more of a subtle effect. So I used the pink on the cheek and then just a little bit of the white just on top God, my hands are so dry and just check that's blended yep. right and then am I doing mascara now no I'm not doing mascara I'm going to do lips let's do some lips yeah, let's, let me show you the bitch I'm two-faced. Which I'm not two-faced, by the way. I hope I don't have that reputation. I kind of keep it real. I say I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. That's what gets me into the most trouble when I keep it real. This is one of my favourite lip liners that MAC has ever created. It's To me, it's better than chestnut. If you like chestnut lip liner, give this one a try. This is Night Moth. So, let's see. This is really good if you want to create an ombre look. And this is really good. Have I got it on my teeth? No. This is really good if you want to mute, um, mute down or tone down like really strong colours like a fuchsia or magenta or reds. Or bright pinks, hot pinks. Yeah, let me just look in my mirror. Oh my god, I love this look. This look is for me. So that's Night Moth. And I would normally wear this with... I've got a nice collection of Too Faced... 
um, liquid lipsticks. This is my favourite, It's Happening. I normally wear It's Happening with Night Moth, but I have these. This would also be nice if you want to create a nude, but obviously you don't want it to be like ghost-like. And then we have the Bitch I'm Too Faced. I think I like the same that. <laughs> They're so naughty. And Makeup Breakup, this is nice as well. These are the colours that I have at the moment. And I think there's one missing, but I'm going to go for this one. And let me tell you, they last for hours and hours and hours and hours. And they are, the I think they're the best and they don't transfer. Oh, you know what it's new? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, God, that colour is so good. So this set's matte, but it's metallic. I just need to use that other mirror just to make sure I put it on properly. Maybe I can adjust this video in the future to um, show you how I apply it in the mirror. It smells so good. You will really, if you like like cocoa butter kind of smells, you will love applying this. Mmm. That is enjoyable. Yeah. It's a nice dark kind of lip look. Then I'm going to do my brows. I'm not really smelling that candle at the moment. I think it needs a, at least half an hour before you can smell a, a new candle burning. Yeah, because it's just so, it's early days, yeah. It needs to create some kind of pool, a well, and then the scent will start coming through. Okay, my palettes. Um, you can get an empty palette from MAC and fill them up with your own colours. So this, this is what I've done, my own individual colours that I've had. And I use this for brows, or for like a nude look. I don't know what the colours are guys, but they're matte. I'm just going to do my brows. Just soften it down a bit. I don't really follow trends of brows, I just like um, to follow my natural shape. I'm pretty old school. But I do like them to be thin, but with a little bit of body. But I, I like them to look as natural as possible. I don't really do, um, like I said, the trend brows, brow look. It just depends. It depends on what my hair is looking like. If I go for big hair, then I can go for fuller brows. What I would normally experiment with is colour. I normally go for... Um, I, I've lightened my brows before bleach them and for that kind of look but I I like my own kind of natural shape you know I like the 1950s kind of look when it comes to makeup like um, Dorothy Dandridge and Marilyn Monroe Elizabeth Taylor Joan Collins I, I've, I've always my, admired that kind of um, vintage glamour classic glamour Okay, so eyes, what am I going to do? I've got so much palettes, I don't even know what to play with these days. I've never actually used my, um, is it Juvia's Place? The Warrior by Juvia's Place. I've never, I've got so many, pa guys, I've got so many palettes. We're going to do so many get ready with me's, look. I've never actually used them. I think they've still got the um, film on the top. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. Juvia's Place. Buy them online. When I went to the States, I thought I could get them, but I couldn't. We couldn't get a chance to get to Ulta. Look at the colours. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the thing. That is so nice. I don't know. What do I go for? I'll go for the. I'll go for the Warrior. I'm feeling like a warrior these days. Especially when I redecorated my bedroom by myself. That was an achievement and a half.
and I've got some new brushes actually this one is called this is by Urban Decay I absolutely I think they're so gorgeous Urban Decay I can't remember the name of this one but this one is called the finger brush and it's it's as good as using your finger to apply eyeshadow and I always normally apply my finger this is really nice and look can you see oh that lip color can you, when it sets it sets kind of feels a bit sticky and you know as it's setting and then the stick the stickiness goes I don't know if it's more sticky with the metallic ones but the ones that are just matte the ones sorry my battery's um, low the ones that are just matte there's no stickiness but it's such a lovely red okay so um, they have names Amina Idia Mino Ahosi Moremi and Kano, Benin, Bakwa and Dahomey, if I'm pronouncing it right. This is gorgeous. Just want to go, I'm going to go for the Ahosi. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, pigments, boom. <gasps> Should I do a swatch on all the colours? Let's have a look. So the Amina. Mina, Idia. Do you know I'm not just doing my fingers. Mino. No, these are bloody good, aren't they? That's the Mina. That's the first one I used. That is good quality. And um, let me go for Benin. Let's see what Benin looks like. Um, the homie. These colours are. Oh, Dahomey looks good. Why didn't I just do it in order? Now I've forgotten myself. Ooh! Moromi. I don't know that already. <laughs> so disorganised. Kano. And Bakwa. Ooh! You know when you just do a little... And that wasn't a deep swipe. You know when you just do a little tap and you see the product easily go on so now I don't know what to use let me just carry on with that I hope see let's see just using a standard eyeshadow brush I'm gonna go right into that inner corner I was going to go smoky. I mean, I could. I could just do a subtle smoky look. I don't know how. Let's use the finger brush. If I was going to do a smoky, what could I do? Let me go for the Kano. It's like a matte coffee brown. Oh, go into the crease of that. Kano. Ooh, it's really nice. The brush is so good. Really, really soft, super, super soft. And uh, it grabs the product quite easily. It's really nice, quite orangey. Matches my leopard print headscarf. Um, I don't know about the lips though. I don't know if it's the right color for the lips. Maybe I'll go for a little bit of metallic. The beha the Benin, the Benin is like a red, which is more complimentary to the lips. I think the Dahomey actually. So let's go in the outer corner a bit more. Yeah, I think it's too orangey for the lips, but it's good to play with. Yeah, it's really nice. Just use my finger to smudge it out and then I'm going to go under the eye with the Benin metallic yeah the Benin is lovely if you have a lot of creases under your eye I would not recommend putting metallic 
because it will draw attention to it. You can just use them on the upper lid, but don't put them into the crease. Yeah, I'm not sure about the colours that I've chosen, but it's good to play with. You see, now I want to get stronger. I'm going back with the Kano. Is it Kano or Kano? And then, <laughs> I'm being so random. Then let's go for the Mino in the crease. With the same, but oh, 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 that is strong. I'm going to have to use um, a blending brush now. Okay, okay. Well, that's added a little bit more for a darker brown. That's quite good, actually. That might bring the look together a bit more. Now, do I have a blending brush here? I'll use the... I'll see how this works. Because this is, like, really fine detail. Let's see what it does. It blends well. Oh, it does. Ooh. It feels so good on the skin. Let's see. But it's going to take longer. I think I needed a maybe a softer blending brush. Okay, let's just go right up into that crease. And I'll just see my fingers to smudge it out. I think that dark colour has made it less orangey. It's made the orangey less um, obvious. It's just kind of helps to bring it together a bit. Oh, this works better if you go onto the product directly and like literally apply it into the crease a bit more. Yeah, I, I didn't have any rhyme or reason what I was doing. <laughs> I'll clean those later. So let me just use my fingers. That's quite a nice, I don't know if I would say smoky, but no, yeah, it's semi-dramatic. It's pretty. I feel like I'm gonna have to wear black now. Go wear black and go for like a leopard print look. I think that would be the finish look. Right, put some mascara. And I'm out of here. Do I want eyeliner? Do I want to wear eyeliner? I mean, what harm can eyeliner do, really? If anyone knows a really good eyeliner, the best eyeliner I've ever, ever used is um, Chanel. Um, I might treat myself to it because I've got quite a few boots points but it's so expensive you know but I wouldn't have to pay for it I mean my boots points would pay for it but I don't know if I want to spend all that money on a Chanel liner if anyone knows like a cheap and cheerful one that is really good let me know what am I looking for here over and over and over right this one <laughs> the NARS Climax I've never used this but the brush is my kind of brush Where's my little wipe? Just use that. Okay, this is um Revolution eyeliner, unicorn eyeliner. It was like a pound or two pounds. It does the job basically. But I think that do you know what I'm gonna do it in this mirror? I think that um you know the it's a bit thick. The Chanel liner from my memory has pre a precision wand. This is okay, but it just goes on quite thick. Good if you're doing um, a bold look. Okay, so that's that side. The colours in that palette are lovely. Yeah, so eyeliner. I'm not going to do any eyeliner at the bottom. I could have done eyeliner inside, but I just want my eyes to look bright today. So put on the back. Right, let's try this mascara. Here we go. I'm just going to tap the bottom lashes. Just tap them and then I normally just close my eyes. One eye and just. Let me go to this mirror. I feel more comfortable. 
I'm definitely going to have to rearrange it so that you guys can see me doing this now. I'm just about, can't you? Candle smelling nice. It's very, very light. It's a lovely, sweet, um, kind of like cake, bakery smell. But it smells like um, a cheap and cheerful candle, which it was. I think it was like under two pounds. But it's, it's nice. It's a lovely um, bakery scent, which is not too offensive for my bedroom. You know, I wouldn't um, burn a strong bakery scent in my room. I would only burn that in the kitchen or the, um, the hallway or the living room area. My bedroom's got more of um, some nice mascara. Um, my bedroom's got more like uh, cottony, fresh um, smells, linen or floral, white floral scents. Yeah, this is just a nice, just a nice basic, pretty look. And it's not just too dramatic, that's pretty. Right, I'm going to, is that everything? Is that all I need? Do I need a highlighter, the brow? Can we go back to the Natasha Denona? Natasha Denona! We go for that cream colour. It doesn't really hold. You know? I don't know. I think I need, oh no, look, I've smudged, I've smudged. I think I need a little bit of a spritz. I need moisture on my skin for this to hold. So let me go back to that surge. Just a little bit. Let's see now. No, I mean, what's going on here? Should I use a brush? Should I use a brush? Natasha Denona, what is going on? Let's see if it's better with a brush. Mm, much better with a brush. Okay, so we can't use fingers with this. Okay. Oh, I haven't cleaned my brushes, so this is what happens when you don't clean your brushes. Okay, you get um, cross-contamination <laughs> with colours. And let me go for the pink. I'm getting bold now. With the um the brush and see. I think to me it's too shiny. I'm gonna have to mute that down. I mean whatever. I'm not highly impressed. You know? I tell you what I am impressed with that I haven't used. Um, get Baked Highlights Collection from Revolution. I can't wait to play with this. Look at all these marble colours. So that is going to, I think that's going to be more effective than the one that I've just used, the Natasha Denona. Right, let me just um, accessorise and brush my hair and show you the finished look. This is the finished look. I don't know if I wanted to wear a chain that accessorise. Do that. I've had this chain for years. Like that. And then um I've got this jacket from Shein and it's in um Asian size. I just always get the extra extra large. So I can always get it taken in. And um, I'm big busted, so I always wear like a 14 jacket, 12 to 14 jacket. I don't know if I want to wear the chain. As if I, oh, I don't know. What do you think, chain or no chain? It's quite playful, isn't it? But I've got the shiny earrings. I don't know if I want to wear the necklace. The 
wear it around my wrist instead. So I normally do stuff like this, like that, and then I can extend that around my finger. Like yeah, I prefer it on my wrist. Okay, so the necklace becomes um, a bracelet. And some rings. This is my mummy's ring. Yeah, I think I'll wear my mother's ring. And I don't know if you can see, so light, so bright. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Um, the ring. And of course, I've got to finish it with a bit of perfume, you know. The perfume that I'm going to wear, I was going to wear, it was between the Bronze Goddess. Um, this smells like black APM, guys. It really does. This is the 2017 edition. Or um, I was going to wear the Valentino, Valentina Powdery. It's really powdery, sensual. But I don't think it's the look. No. Come on. Let me spray a little bit and see. Mmm. Maybe, I don't know. No. Powder I don't know. Do I want to wear you today? No. Gonna go for Dior Addict. Oh, this stuff is. Oh my gosh, yeah. As, as, as in, instant. This is beautiful. This is like a vanilla sex god. <laughs> it's vanilla and. Oh, it's um, it's Fleur de Oranger, Absolute. Absolute Jasmine Sambac and Vanilla Bourbon. Orange Blossom, Bourbon Vanilla and Jasmine Sambac Absolute. I bought this for £40 from a woman in Scotland on eBay and she sold me the tester. And let me tell you something, the tester is bomb awesome, man and at the back it tells you what the ingredients are I love this spray guys I don't want it to ever finish yeah so that's my look and this is the um, unfinished Charles Farris perfume um, not perfume well it's, it is highly perfumed candle I'm going to light this because the Ikea one's going to take a little while to burn. So in the meantime, I'm going to taser this bitch. <laughs> oh. The candle jar doesn't really suit my room, so I always... This, is like, this was an old candle, an old TK Maxx candle. And once it's finished, I just use some hot water. Not boiling hot water because glass will break. But I just use some hot water just to melt the candle inside, the um, the rest of it, the residue, and just to lift the the wicks that are glued down. But you can just put hot water into a bowl. It doesn't have to be boiling hot, okay? Because remember, this will break. And then you just sit that in. And then when it gets to the end, you know, this is to get rid of the end of the candle and the glue. And then it will just melt away. Scrape it out, and then you can just use it as a another candle jar because that's why I really bought it the actual fragrance that it originally was it wasn't that great it, it kind of had a smoky kind of smell after a while so um, yeah I just use this for holding candles that I really like that don't match my room this doesn't really match the decor that much so anyway yeah I'm going out um, I'm going to my friend's 40th birthday she lives in Wales I haven't seen her in years 
and um, we're gonna go and celebrate so should be fun anyway guys hopefully that video uploads if it doesn't then you're gonna see this one this will be the first video that you see from me um, in, a, in quite a while but I did explain where I was I had the most amazing summer the most amazing birthday celebration I'm 40 years old now and I'm loving life but yeah if I if it doesn't upload I'm going to re-upload it in parts and you'll get to see all my shenanigans but anyway take care guys and I will be recording scented Sundays and I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know what it's going to be about. It's going to be about perfumes. I'm going to upload it on a Sunday and have a little chat with you.